Morning, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. Stocks fell sharply Thursday after new data showed retail sales fell more than expected in November, raising fears that the Federal Reserve's relentless interest rate hikes are tipping the economy into a recession. The disappointing retail sales report suggests that inflation is taking a toll on consumers. Retail sales fell 0.6% in November, according to the Commerce Department. That was a bigger loss than the Dow Jones estimate of a 0.3% decline. The equity market's reaction is now factoring in a recession and rejecting the possibility of a soft landing. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 2.3%, the S&P 500 dropped 2.5%, bringing the decline for December to about 4.5%. The Nasdaq Composite tumbled over 3% as the battered tech-heavy index stretched its 2020 losses to more than 31%. The sell-off was broad-based, with only 14 stocks in the S&P 500 trading in positive territory. Mega-cap tech stocks declined, with shares of Apple and Alphabet down more than 4%, and shares of Microsoft and Amazon lower by more than 3%. Shares of Netflix fell more than 9%, following a Digiday report that said the streaming firm is offering to return money to advertisers after missing viewership targets. Bank shares also declined as fears of a recession increased. JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America each lost more than 2%. And if Tesla shareholders were already worried that Elon Musk is too distracted by his work at Twitter, they now have more of a reason to be upset. Musk disclosed yesterday that he has sold another $3.6 billion worth of Tesla stock, possibly to prop up his embedded social network. Musk has now sold $23 billion worth of Tesla stock this year, much of it after he pledged in April to stop selling shares to finance his Twitter deal. Across the sectors overnight, the sell-off was broad-based. Thematic-wise, what the worst performance includes social media, SPACs and EV charger stocks. And in commodity news, Goldman Sachs expects commodities to provide returns of over 40% in 2023 amid supply concerns. Goldman Sachs believes commodities will be the best performing asset class once again in 2023. Goldman expects the first quarter may be bumpy due to economic weakness in, Ch in the US and China, but scarcity of raw materials from oil to natural gas and metals will boost prices after that. Note that Goldman predicted a multi-year commodity super cycle in late 2020 and has stuck to that view even as the energy prices dipped in recent months due to China's COVID restrictions and a global economic slowdown suppressing demand. The SPY futures are pointing to a 1.2% fall. Thank you for listening.